Greetings, Earthlings. Welcome to Thursday. Yay! Herb Day Thursday. So today I decided to do a little something to show you what I do for my face. I was trying to see if I had anything that was considered an herb here, and I don't, but we're going to cheat just a little bit. <laughs> You could use an herbal oil for this uh, recipe, but um, almost every time I post a video or pictures or something, people ask me, what do I do to my skin? Or what is my routine? Or my skin is glowing. It's always something like that. So I decided to show you a body, a facial scrub that I use at least once a week to to make my to help with my skin first let me say this my grandmother is 90 years old and she does not look like it it's in my DNA let me put that part out there first because that is a major part of it but to maintain my skin um, I I use a body scrub and I don't put any soap on my face maybe once like when I'm washing my hair or like not not that often do I deliberately put soap on my face and then when I do I'm using some kind of soap that's plant-based like a Castile soap um, so and then I just let me get this part out of the way I use an oil either coconut oil grapeseed oil olive oil any kind of oil like that that's a natural oil I don't use too, too many perfumes or I don't use too much of any products on my face so with that being said, we're making a coffee scrub. Coffee is really good for the skin. It helps to fight cellulite if you wanted to use it for a body scrub. You can use it on your face. Um, it's like the, it helps to constrict the capillaries in our skin because of the caffeine. And that kind of rushes blood to that area and that kind of gives you the plump. You know, it feels, it's supposed to fill in the, the spaces over time. If you're consistent with it as a scrub for cellulite, you will, if you take before and after pictures, over time you will see a difference. Um, so, okay, let's, let's get into this scrub. It's really simple what you will need. And I'm just gonna tell you what you need as we go. So I have one cup of coffee grounds here. You don't have to get the expensive stuff, you know, unless you just wanna do that. You don't have to go to Starbucks and get a whole bunch of expensive coffee to do this. Okay, so one cup of coffee. Coffee is really good. It's anti-aging and um, it has, it has, like I said, a wrinkle fighting effects. So it's good for that. And then we have, we're using a raw sugar, half a cup of raw sugar. Sugar helps to hydrate the skin, which helps it to main, maintain that glow. It's also the beneficial for the exfoliation and helping to get rid of the, de the dead skin cells. Um, and so the next thing we're using is a tablespoon of charcoal. I didn't measure that out because this is messy. This stuff is very messy. You just want to take it straight from the bag. But this is charcoal powder. Now charcoal, what it does is it draws out toxins. So any kind of free radicals in the air, pollution, any of that stuff, you put it on your skin and it literally wraps itself around whatever the toxin is and it washes away when you wash your face. So we're using one tablespoon of charcoal powder. And then we're using about a teaspoon of baking soda. Now baking soda is good for someone who has um, itchy skin. You know, it's very alkalizing to the skin. So so um, baking soda will help with that. It, um, it kind of dries the skin out. So if you have really oily skin, you could use baking soda, just a teaspoon. It's very abrasive. Even though it's really thin, it's very abrasive. So that'll help with the expo exfoliation part as well. Okay, so that's all the dry ingredients we're gonna put in. Now with your scrub, you can use as much or as little as you want, but this is just to balance it out. You don't want too much charcoal powder. You don't want too much coffee. And then you just add whatever oil you want to use. So let's stir that in first and get that nice and mixed. And try to use something wooden. Try not to use anything metal when you're dealing with the bentonite clay or the charcoal powder. It's just not, not a good mix. 
or just overall when you have you're dealing with herbs and stuff like that so really all you have to do is mix it mix it in and then you can kind of see the consistency right there it's mixed in and then what we're gonna do is add some oil okay so this is a nice big batch you could actually use this on your entire body if you want but I like to make enough of it just so I'll have it because I'm consistent with using it if you're one of those people that use get products and they just kind of sit around forever you can add vitamin E oil because that acts as a preservative so that it'll last you longer and then we're using grapeseed oil for this Grapeseed is one of the best oils that you can use on your skin. It is really high in collagen. And you can actually, I've seen it done um, mostly in other countries, like in, uh, in China. The women over there, they literally will get actual grapes and they'll get actual grapes and they'll squeeze them to get the juice out of them. And then they use a cotton ball and apply it to their face. So that's how good grapeseed oil is, and that's what we're using. That's the main oil that I use whenever I want to put an oil on my face. Grapeseed oil or coconut oil, those are my top go-to oils. So we're going to need more of the grapeseed oil. And so you want to make sure that it's uh, not too dry, and also make sure when you're using this in the shower or in the sink, that you don't get any water in it because that will introduce mold and it'll ruin your over time it'll ruin your final final product okay so see this is getting it's getting there let me get that on camera and it's it looks like mud <laughs> i like to call it a messy pleasure because of the benefits of that so And then all you have to do is find a container to put it in, preferably um, something that's glass. I'm going to add a little bit more oil, but I'm going to use almond oil this time. Almond oil is a good nurturing oil. It acts like vitamin E, not as potent as vitamin E would be. And it's, not, it's a non-oily, non-greasy oil. It's not as greasy as olive oil or something like that would be. Okay, and so I'm adding that in there because you want it to be a good consistency. Like I said, you don't want it to be dry. And when you're done, you want to feel like you actually, because with the, with the scrubs that I use, after I'm done, I feel the oil, the residue of the oil left behind, which is what you want. Okay, so there we have it. Let me just kind of show you that Oops, without making a mess because that charcoal powder is really, really messy. So that's all I do. And then like once a month, once a month, <laughs> about once a week, I would, you can do it twice a week, but I wouldn't do it more than that because of the abrasion. You don't want to, because it will scratch your skin if you do it too much. Um, but like once a week, I wash my face. I do a whole routine. And when I wash my face, like I said, I still don't put soap. I use a hot, wet rag and I scrub it like that under my neck and all over those places. That could be why my skin glows because I don't wash away all of the natural oils that it produces. Um, and I don't use any kind of lotion, anything with fragrance. If I do, it's, a, it's an essential oil. To this, you can add your favorite essential oil. Lemon is really good for the skin. It's, it, uh, it's good for rashes and eczema and stuff like that. So you could add lemon oil to it. So the possibilities are endless, but that is what I use on my face to keep my skin glowing. Thank you so much for all of the compliments. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. And don't forget to check us out. We're on Instagram and Facebook, Mother Earth's Healing. And if you want to buy scrub, if you're like, eh, I'd rather just buy it and you don't want to make it, then <laughs> you can go check out my website. I'm on Etsy, MotherEarthsHealing.etsy.com. 
and you can get three different sizes over there. So thanks again for watching and let me know if you made the scrub, what you used and how you liked it. Until the next time, be well.